Hello and welcome to uh, BA 211, uh, Principles of Financial Accounting. So I'm going to be your instructor. My name is Darren Bell and this video is just to help introduce some of the uh, things to, that's going to help you get started with the course and some things to keep in mind to help you be successful in the course. So first thing, uh, we're here at the, uh, the home page in Canvas. And so the first thing I want you to do, if you haven't already done it, is go ahead and click on the Start Here button right here. So this is the Start Here button. Go ahead and click on that. We're going to go through the Start Here, uh, the starting module, the welcome module. Okay, so this right here is going to lead you through the basic concepts in the course, just some of the basics. So go ahead and click next here to move on. This is the video that you're going through right now, right? And it's also on the home page. Uh, this is going to be the textbook introduction. So I've actually already got a couple of questions on this already, uh, this term. So the, uh, and the questions were, uh, do I need the connect access code along with the book? Right, and so here are the options that you're going to have. So you you do yes, you do need the access code, uh, but you actually don't need the hard copy book. It depends on your preference. So you can. There are students in the past that have gone through the course without a, a hard copy book. Uh, the access code comes with an ebook, so you can use the ebook with the access code. The access code is needed. That's where you're going to do uh, almost all your homework, uh, besides the uh, final uh, financial analysis paper and then uh, you're, you're going to need that access code. The other uh, hard copy book you you may need, you may want it and it may work best with your study uh, habits and your style of studying and learning. So if you need that hard copy book then go ahead and buy it. You can buy the code and the book together. You can buy them separately. You can buy just the code uh, this link here in this page, this is how you get started on, on uh, registering for that Connect uh, product. Uh, what you may do for the very beginning for two weeks, right, for 14 days, you can have the, uh, the free access to this code, right? So you're, as you're getting stuff together, financial aid and those different things, uh, to be able to buy that, uh, you can have 14 days free. And so go ahead and click on this link here on this page and get started. Register for the connect. You're going to have to set up a uh, username, password if you don't already have one. If you've used connect before, you can use your same one. I suggest you use your uh, student email uh, to, as the username in there, as the email there. And that's worked the best in the past for students. And then um, register for the course. So that's the book, that's the code. Uh, any other questions, feel free to contact me and, and uh, let me know if you have questions. So this is the assignment overview. Uh, the assignments that are required in the class are gonna be um, in this order, right? So top to bottom, they're in order for a reason. Uh, study assignments, every chapter is gonna have a study assignment. You're gonna have exercise assignments, which are basically workout problems and then you'll have a quiz for the chapter. So the chapters have three of these, uh, th th these three things, study, exercise, quiz. Uh, once you complete the block or the unit of those items, then you're ready for the exam. So the, uh, you should be able to get, if you work on it and, and take the time, you should be able to get 100% 100 on all these things, the study assignment, the exercise, and the quiz. Can redo them until you get uh, the perfect score. That's the, where the learning happens, right? The exams are going to be one per unit, so there's three of them. The first two are worth a little bit more than the last one. The last one's um, minimized; it's not quite as much content. Um, the exams, you're going to be able to take those three times. So take it. You're going to have two retakes. You can take them when you're ready for them. So they're ready when you get done with all the assignments and prep, go ahead and take the exam. You can take it whenever, wherever. And then once you get those exams done, 
uh, towards the end of the term, we're going to actually have a draft ass assignment for the financial analysis and then a final submission. So the financial analysis assignment is going to be where you pick out a public company, you get their financial uh, statements, their financial records, reports, and you're going to do an analysis that's laid out for you. So that'll be uh, something that's required for the course, that's something that is part of the course learning outcomes, so we're going to do that as well. Uh, again, we're going to have a draft for that and then the final submission. Draft will be about midterm, final submission will be at the end of the term. As we continue on, uh, the very end of the getting started assignment is the uh, welcome quiz. So 10 points, take this. Once you complete this, then you, I'll mark you as attending for financial aid purposes for the Student um, Service Center. Something else you might want to know, right? To be able to help with this welcome quiz, you're going to want to look at the syllabus link here up on the left side of the Canvas site. So click on that. It's going to lay out a couple of things. It's going to have the syllabus link where you can uh, look at the syllabus, you can download it, you can print it, whatever you want to do. The course schedule is going to be there as well. Um, here are the due dates for the assignments uh, and so that's going to be a really helpful link to kind of uh, be able to look at some very important things. Important, one important thing I usually tell students here on the syllabus, right? Look at the syllabus, look at the grading uh, points for all of the assignments. Um, know that the canvas as you're going through, sometimes canvas will tell you, okay, you're getting this grade, uh, that may not be your actual grade in the end. right? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the syllabus and see how it's graded. It's out of a thousand points. The main idea is you're, you're going to want to accumulate as many points as possible to get as a good of grade as you can. If you get a thousand out of a thousand, that's a perfect score. Anything down to 900 basically is going to be an A, 900 and up. 800, uh, between 800 and 900 is going to be your B's. Uh, down to 700 is going to be your C's. Uh, below that is uh, not passing, right? D's and F's. Uh, so just look at that and know that sometimes uh, Canvas doesn't report the grade exactly right. Uh, one of the reasons may be because of extra credit, right? So there is some extra credit opportunity in, in here. Um, another important link, I'll show you this. It's going to be modules. It's down here uh, on the left side. Click on modules. This is a good way, uh, or a good view of the course to be able to go through it in order, right? Top to bottom. Getting started, we've already gone through that. We've got lecture slides here, so you can look at those lecture slides. We're going to go through some of them in class. We're going to do a lot of examples. Um, unit one is going to be right at the beginning, and you'll just kind of go down in order, right? Unit one is chapters one through four, the foundation of accounting. Uh, after that is exam one. Then we're going to introduce the um, financial analysis project and we're going to get the draft going for you. Unit two is after that with exam two. Unit three is advanced. That'll be at the very end with exam three. Uh, here at the end, just for, for those students that have that feel like they are excelling and have maybe some extra time and want to learn a little bit more, I've included this case study in here. So not all students have to do this. This is definitely extra credit. If you want to do it, then you can start going down through this. This is going to um, be uh, uh, using the QuickBooks accounting online software. So that's going to be kind of a learning curve. So it's a bit, it's a bit of it's a bit more learning than just the basics, right? So you can go get into this and start working through it if you if you would like. I would definitely say don't take away from uh, the effort you're putting into the other part of the course. But if you do feel like you know I'm ahead, this is uh, accounting's coming pretty easy for me. I want to do a little extra. Feel free to jump into this and get some extra credit, and I will work with you on it if you get stuck on any of the extra credit there with it's called TAD Gaming. It's a, a TAD Gaming exercise. You're setting up a company in uh, QuickBooks Online. So you can do that if you would like, but definitely I, again don't take time away if you're struggling to keep up 
just focus on the main points, get those main points. Uh, this is for students that are excelling and want to do a little bit more. So, all right, well, hopefully that will help you. And um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, whether you're taking this course live, right, Monday, Wednesdays, or Tuesday, Thursdays, the schedule is going to be a little different in the term, so make sure to look at that uh, course schedule on the syllabus. If you're taking this course online, then, um, of course, you know, the course schedule is there just to show you the timing of things, not so much uh, when there's class or when there's not class if you're doing it online. So make sure to look at that course schedule link there um, and make sure you have know when classes, when it's not. I'm going to be sending out uh, announcements every week to help kind of clue you in on things you're supposed to be doing and give you some links to help you uh, get to where you need to be. So, all right, we'll see you in class and uh, happy accounting.